Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, we have been. Just trying to correct the small things. Um, what I personally am trying to do is uh, just focus on directional and get the uh, maximum amount of hang time to help all the guys so they can get down the field faster. But um, with that, it's just working on the small things. You, go, you made some big kicks, obviously, in the Louisville game. Have you taken some time to kind of imagine, dream what it would be like to, to make some big kicks here in Death Valley, especially uh, when it gets the magnitude of opponent like Notre Dame? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I have. Thinking about kicking, um, the main thing you have to do is just visualize before you go out there and actually experience it for yourself. Because uh, you get in the situation, and a lot of times what kickers do is they start to freak out. They start to overthink what's going on. And um, that's whenever you take your mind off of kicking. And as a kicker, you don't want to do that. So what I try and do is just take a few deep breaths, take in the situation for a little bit, realize what's happening, let it go, and just focus on the kick. Kind of similar to like a little kid playing basketball. Imagine hitting the winning shot. Have you kind of gone through that? Like, oh yeah. Imagine yourself kicking that winning field goal. Oh yeah, yes sir. All the time, all the time. Not really specifically against a an op in a uh, opponent like Notre Dame. It might happen. It might not. But um, I don't know who it's going to be against or whether it'll happen in the future. But I visualize it all the time. How, how much extra buzz and kind of build up can you feel on campus and around town leading into this game? There's a lot of build up. Uh, a lot of guys talking about it know it's going to be a big game. But uh, the way we like to focus is uh, the biggest game is your next game. So the way you just have to think about it is we prepare the same. No matter we're playing Wofford, App State, Louisville, Notre Dame, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, the media is hyping it up a little bit, but uh, it's really just the same process, and you just have to stick with it. Has the dynamic changed for you at all since Ammon's return to practice? Not necessarily because I still just have to go out there and compete. Like before, I had to compete with uh, Christian Grooms and Alex Spence. But uh, now that Ammon's back, he was, uh, he was all All-American semifinalist last year. So there's a little bit more pressure. But for me, not really, because I know it's, I have to do the same thing, just go out and compete. Do you pay attention to the polls at all? Do you look at them? Not really, no, sir. <laughs> We talk about respect a lot just because we feel like we're one of the best teams in the nation and uh, a lot of the people don't really agree with us or haven't really seen it yet. But um, we're just trying to earn that respect from the people. So, yes, sir, we talk about it a lot. Going back to the kickoffs, you, you can do it. I mean, you can put it in the end zone. Is it just a, a little mechanical thing that you have to get consistent with? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, it's really the same thing as before taking in the situation because you get out there and uh, – I know my first game against Wofford, the crowd's going crazy. It's your first kickoff. You've really never experienced anything like it. So it's really just something you have to get used to. What has the competition been like between you and Amon? Do you feel like you guys are pretty evenly matched? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's a, he's a great kicker. Um, I might go out one day and perform better. He might go out the next day and perform better. So it's really, really <laughs> um, a great competition thus far. Oh, it's, it's really just a relief because coming out here for fall camp, nobody knew, nobody knew who I was. So uh, my main thing was get people to remember your name, and then I guess everything will fall into place after that. But um, really hearing that Dabo was saying, or Coach Sweeney was saying, um, that the spot's mine for field goals as of right now, it's great because it's nice knowing that uh, somebody has that much confidence in you. No, sir. No, sir. Um, I really thought, OK, you might make the team just come out, see what happens. And then whenever I did, I was like, OK, you just have to come out and compete. And I realistically never thought that I'd be the starting kicker. And uh, whenever I came out and it happened, it was kind of just like a rush of like emotions. But I was happy, I was anxious, a little nervous at the time. But uh, I never really thought it would happen. So I'm just kind of living in the moment. <laughs> The buildup, um, if I had to pick a time, I haven't really got really nervous yet. Um, I thought I would at the Louisville game. I didn't really. It was more kind of just anxious to just get it over with, but not really nerves. If I'd have to pick a time whenever it's going to hit me, it, 
it'd probably be on the bus ride over for Notre Dame because it's first night game in Death Valley. Um, it might not happen. It might. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Obviously, you'd like to win by 20 points, but how much would you relish having a game of this size coming all down to your show? I've thought about it a lot. I'd love to blow them out of the water. I'm not saying that will happen. Um, if it comes down to me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> um, and I just hope I can perform for the team. I had a feeling he was going to have me do it um, just so I can get it under my belt. It was a, uh, only a 37 yarder or so. And uh, really just taking a few deep breaths. I looked around the stadium for a little bit just to like, realize what's happening and then just let it go. Um, once I got out there, <laughs> it was really loud. I did not realize it was going to be that loud. Um, thinking about that and then thinking about playing in Death Valley as an opponent or this being being a visitor here, I can't really imagine it because there's 25,000 more people yelling at you. So, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really think about it. I just knew what I had to do, so I just hope it worked out. <laughs> What's it like on the sideline? Are you and Seth hanging out together? Are you and Seth at the gym? Or do they just leave you alone? A lot of times before we go out there, we uh, take a few practice swings. I go to the net for a little bit, kick a few, and uh, they get some snaps down. I go over there with them, just get my timing down before I go out there. Seth, Seth's the coach's son. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of times whenever we're running out for the field goal, um, whenever I'm initially about to start lining up, he always looks at me. He was like, hey, you got it. Take a few deep breaths. You do it all the time in practice, and I just take my steps. You had some time off this, this Saturday. Did you watch any of the college football games that came down to some interesting some kicking moments? Yes, sir, I did. I uh, watched as many football games as I could, and uh, they have some great kickers out there. So to visualize, I'm on a team just like that, and I happen to be the starting kicker as well, it just doesn't feel real because we might be ranked higher than some of them, or some of them we might not be. But uh, seeing those kickers like that, I've kicked with a lot of them at uh, some kicking camps, so like we know each other. And uh, it's nice to see a lot of them having sex or a success with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of times we text each other like, hey, don't worry about it. Because if it's a big game and somebody misses a kick, um, you, you could think about some of the best kickers they've ever had. And um, everybody has a bad day. Everybody has an off day. And unless you're in the situation itself, you don't realize that. So it's nice to have a pick-me-up from somebody else. You're a month into this now. Do you feel like a totally different guy now as opposed to that first week leading in the Whopper game? Um, to an extent, yes, just because I have a little bit of experience under my belt now. Um, Confidence-wise, yes, sir, since uh, Coach Sweeney has referenced that. But um, other than that, it's really just a confidence thing because my day-to-day -day process is the same, just come in and compete. You mentioned that you haven't been nervous. Are there any like, tricks you have on game day to keep yourself calm? I would say yes. Um, Whenever my older brother was at USC, he said one of the things that helped out a lot was yoga. So I've been, I've been doing yoga. A lot of people are like, oh, no, that's weird. Like, why would you do that? It works for me. So, I mean, that's just something I do. So we're talking the whole um thing? Like, <laughs> that stuff, uh, Not necessarily <laughs> all out like that. <laughs> yeah, minus the sound effect. There you go. But uh, it's really just, uh, I'd call it meditation. I'd call it meditation, just uh, slow, deep breath. Anything else for Greg today?